this is a channel about crafting mostly craft stitch though I've been here for a while you know if my phone is buzzing I apologize I just it's never ending um there's a video that's gonna be going up on my patreon in I don't know uh, in the next couple of days and there's so much buzzing throughout the video because um I just kept getting text messages and I always forget to put my phone on silent so this is the floss tube my cat's gonna come open the door watch and if I'm looking this way it's because I have a problem looking at myself and the lens like the lens thingy is over here it is what it is most of the time I can't tell directly it is what it is he opened the door okay as I oh, as I mentioned before I've been really digging these 30 minute floss tubes so I'm gonna try my best to do that this time I don't have well I don't have any haul so that's a good thing um, there are several things that I do. Oh, my Lanta. There are several things that I want to share with you guys. My cat. No, 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 no. Okay. I had to move you. Um, because my cat knocked you over. He's just in his own. Ignore this whole situation. Um, I'm trying to like make my desk flow better. I don't remember what I was saying last <laughs> um yeah I I figured out the sound thing it's either my phone case or because when I'm recording you get we're usually in a like tighter space so I think it's more like echoey and microphone-y um because I just use my phone and I'm gonna try this way and hopefully the sound comes out better if not um I will remove my phone case next time and hopefully that works. Um, I'm trying to invest in another device to record videos on. I don't want a camera because a lot of the phones now don't come with SD card slots and I don't have the patience to edit on my computer. I spend too much time on my computer as it is. I work from home on a computer. I go to school online and I don't want to edit on a computer. It's just a pain in the butt and it also limits me as to where I can edit. A lot of the time I edit in my car or on the go or whatever, you know, so it is what it is. Um, I wanted to mention, I still have a lot of stuff up on the Mystical Diamond Art website for um, the D stash, things that I'm getting rid of. And I went through yesterday and pulled out a bunch more patterns that I'm gonna go ahead and list on the website too. I have some really cute ones like these by the bay um trees um i have this kit from hands on design it's not a kit but it does come with these dots i'm not sure why the dots are used but they're there and this pattern um from glendon place uh i have some happy barrack stuff um just if you guys are interested i the link is always in the description and those are going to be going up as soon as i have a chance to take the photos my cat is going to come knock you guys over. He's just, he's such a pain in the butt, I swear. Okay, let's do whips. Uh, a few days ago, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen this. And since, since my last video, I went ahead and made my Instagram public. Um, I, I talked about it in my last video. It's something, or my last floss tube, I think something that I've struggled with a little bit whether or not to keep it private or um, public but anyway it's public now and if you saw if you follow me there you've already seen this but I had to finish I finished the pumpkin carriage from Elf Forest Embroidery and this is a free chart on their website so I'm gonna get rid of that now and hopefully oh yeah you can see it just fine there it is. Isn't it so cute? So this came out way smaller than I thought it was going to come out. Um, and I stitched this on an unknown piece of like linen. It has some modeling in it, but um, I, if I'm not mistaken, I got this in the... Um, oh, I'm just dropping everything. What's it called? 
Black Needle Society, Harry Potter, what are they called? Retreat box, something, whatever. They call them retreat in a box. Um, that's where this came from. Um, the first Harry Potter thing came with this fabric and it's linen. I hate linen, um, but I wanted to use it because it was in my stash and I'm glad it's over. I think I have like one more piece of linen actually in my stash. Oh no, something else I was going to talk about too. I'll, I'll tell you guys about that in a minute. So this I stitched. I subbed all the colors because um, I don't remember what it was called for. I don't have the paper anymore, but um, I subbed the colors. So I used a whole skein. Not a whole, I think my skein was half because I had scrap pieces of the green. The green is a floss that I dyed myself for Mystical Diamond Art. It's part of our, it was part of our um, floss of the month. Uh, I think the end of 2020 um, was when that color came out. And that's what the green is. It was called Pea Soup, for those of you wondering if you have um, the, the floss. Uh, pumpkin I use for obviously the pumpkins in this one that's a mystical diamond art floss and then the wheels and the leaves for the border although on the top and the bottom I used cookie which is also mystical diamond art it's a brown floss and then for the bright orange in the carriage and some of the smaller pumpkins on the bottom. I used Rise and Shine by Victorian Motto only because I didn't have another orange um, to use from Mystical Diamond Art at the time. So those are the colors that I used. And <clears throat> let me see. There's something else I was going to say. I don't remember. Oh, I messed up up here. There's supposed to be a space in between the four orange squares and the brown line on the top because there's supposed to be one little strand of backstitch for it to be like a string of like hanging pumpkin lights and I totally messed that up and I'd already done like several of them before I realized that and I decided I wasn't going to fix that so I just stitched them like that all the way across but it doesn't look bad right I think it looks cute so this is going to go on my hangers where I have the um all my other cross stitch things because I can't be bothered to hang or frame anything. <laughs> and then and then I only have three whips after that. Um I pulled out this Spellville from Barbara Anna. For some reason I just can't finish this. It's bothering me so much. It only has three colors, which isn't terrible. I'm stitching this on a piece of dusty pink Joblin from Be Stitch Me. It's a 32 count and this is what I have and I'm like so close to a finish like there's some back stitched flowers that come here. Um, it's one of these. It's like a smaller version of this back stitching here that comes out right here. And then I need to finish putting the red in these. And I think there's another branch of yellow leaves here. And then there's a sign. And then I need to fill in the house and the witches. Oh, I haven't done anything on the bottom yet either. Um, there's actually quite a bit of stuff on the bottom. So I, I feel like I'm more than halfway. Um, oh, I have to fill in the windows on this house too. But this whole key thing is done if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the whole key thing is done. I just can't bring myself to finish it. Uh, this was in my head. I had this as my next finish. And I don't know why I started so high freaking up. Because I have all this fabric that I didn't do anything with. Like, why? This is as high as it's going to go. Um, there's a witch that's going to go right here. Um, and I think she's maybe one or two stitches higher than what the leaves are over here. But seriously, what the hell was I thinking? Like, this whole freaking piece of fabric, and I start, like, I think at the time, because hand-dyed fabric is so expensive, um, I was like, oh, I'm going to be as frugal as I can, 
so that when I'm done with this, I can cut this other part off and have another small piece for another small project. That was the dumbest thing ever because um, this top part, I'm having to stitch it in hand, but I think I pulled my sewing machine out today, this morning, I think I'm gonna sew um, some fabric onto here so that I can um, put this in a key snap and finish it. I think that's part of my problem because it's almost done and I didn't even put that much stitches in it. I think I did all these red pieces the other day. I attempted to do this back stitch here and I just wasn't feeling it so I took it out and then I put all the, the borders on these windows right here. That was it. I just wasn't feeling it. So I put it back. <laughs> I just, I can't get it together with this piece. But I want it done. I want it gone. It's frustrating because it's cute, but not cute enough to finish, I guess. I don't know. My next whip, oh, I got a lot of floss on this one for some reason. My next whip that I worked on, oh, I didn't bring, um, I'll put the picture here. I worked on Halloween at Hawkrun Hollow, and I got quite a bit done on this. I I don't know if I took a picture of where I was. If I have one, I'll put it here. I don't I don't think I do though. It's a possibility, but I'm not sure. And let me open this up so you guys can see. I did quite a bit on this one too. So this is where I'm at. I started in the middle on this one. So I had fill in to do on the pumpkin. I had to fill in all her dress. Um, I stitched this whole bat and moon. Um, she was missing a couple of pieces, like her eye wasn't done. She was missing all this black in her hair. Uh, so I finished this whole side completely. And then I moved my key snap. I stitched this bat, this bat and here, the page ended here. So that's why there's such an abrupt end in this bat. And I finished the border all the way, for the most part, up to here. Um, because I only did um, tent stitches just to give me the border to work with. So I went ahead and closed them all up um, to finish it so that I could fully move over. Right now I'm working on, um, well I did this whole swirl as well. And I think, yeah, the fish is missing an eye still. And then I can't remember what I was stitching when I moved the Q-snap. Oh, I moved and I came over here and I started working on this pumpkin because there's another one of these. I can't remember if it has an owl on the top either, but there's another pumpkin on this side and then another witch right here, but I needed to finish all of this. So I had to put all that in um, and then I need to finish the cauldron. There's some more of this yellow color that goes in here and then like, there's a couple of stitches here that I missed um, fill in on this side and yeah, it was quite a bit. It was a lot that I got done and this is the largest motif in the piece. So I did the center start and I was like, well, this is the biggest one too. So once that's accomplished, I'm going to feel a lot better. And this is another one that I started like a little too close to the top. So I hope I have enough room um, to get up there. But that's, that's where I'm at. I'm loving it. I'm loving the way that it's come out. It looks so pretty on camera. I'm stitching this in. Oh, oof. Be stitch me 32 count shadow and this I had to I think I had a custom order this piece I don't know what size I got but I'm pretty sure I had to order this I'm not sure and I think I ordered this when I ordered the the fabric for pandemic um I think that one I I ordered a yard for um because I just wanted to make sure I had the space that I needed but yeah that's that and I don't have any new starts thank god no, I'm just kidding. There are no new starts. And then, we've got a lot of problems. I, oops. I think... Oh, I took a screenshot because I knew I was going to show this. So I'm going to put that here where I was last on this pattern. So I stitched on Halloween Sampler, number one, because there's a number two now. Um, I'll put progress photo here. And... Oops. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to move my needle minder. This is how far I've gotten.
so you can see that I made a lot of progress on this. I have pretty much all of these down here I did. Um, I don't know what else I did. I think I just had this here. I don't think the A was finished and I don't think the D was done either. So I did all this. I did the ghost. Oh, he's missing um, his eyes and his mouth. So I'm going to have to come back in and do that. Did the star, the broom, all these letters here. Last night, I ran out of thread right here when I was teaching the word magic. So I need to finish the C. And then this thread I'm actually saving um, to come up and do one of these because um, there's still plenty of words. This is one that I'm kind of worried that I might run out of room on because... That's all I have left. And there's another word on this side. What word is on this side? Creepy. And so I'm hoping, I should have enough room, but it's coming quite close to the edge. Um, I don't know if I quite started in the middle. I feel like I did, because this is only a 17 by 17 piece, and it's no surprise that I'm stitching this on Bestitch Me's 32 count Joblin in the color Tree Hugger. So that's, Definitely excited with my progress on this. So there's that. Whoops. So those are the only things that I've worked on. I'm getting start itis though, where I want to start projects that I shouldn't be starting. No, I don't want to say shouldn't be starting, but, um, and yes, I have an ort on there because I'm saving my orts to put in Christmas ornaments. Um, I don't want to say projects that I shouldn't be starting, but I have so many fun things that I want to start. So this, I'm not stitching in any of the called for colors, if you can see. And I'm not sure if I'm happy with the color combination of the black and the blue, but it is what it is. I had originally picked the blue because the blue is the letters, the big letters, and then they're like the words are like a brownie type of color so I switched them and my letters are variegated black I'm stitching in um, a mystical diamond art floss called smoke this was another one that we did um, last my it was either the beginning of last year or in 2020 the letters I'm stitching in the rest of the letters the small letters I'm stitching in Victoria models twilight time and then my accent colors, I'm mixing them all up. Um, I'm doing none of the called for, in case you haven't noticed. So the cauldron, I'm going to be stitching in Weeks Dye Works Battleship because I didn't feel like the color that I was using, that it shares with some of the other motifs, I didn't feel like it was a nice variegated one. And I'm looking at this, and this one isn't as variegated as I thought it was going to be, so I might actually change that. Smoke from Miss Ava Diamond Art would have been a great color for it, but I feel like it would be too much of that color in the chart. And then the yellows are Golden Star from Classic Color Works and Yellow Sunflower from Victorian Motto. Victorian Motto Floss does not have a lot of variegation, if any at all. This white, also no variegation in it, but I think I only used it for the ghost, and I think that's the only part I'm going to use it for. Oh, there's a bone and then the top of the candy corn. I'll continue using this is Antique Lace by Classic Color Works, which I feel like is just white DMC to be honest. No variegation to it at all. On the oranges, I have Apricot by Claire and Cotton. This is a pretty color. You can see the variegation in it. And then the broomstick I did in Basil from Weeks Dye Works. I don't know if I'm going to use this in any of the other motifs. That's supposed to be the same color as the cauldron, but this one has purple in it and I don't feel like it would look good in the cauldron. And then in the witch's socks. I think I'll probably use this for the witch's socks too, so. Oh, I am going to use this for the cat. Because the cat was supposed to be the same color as the letters and I don't, I don't know actually. That might be a good cat color. I don't know, we'll see what I feel like doing and which color I feel like doesn't stand out as much is probably the color I'll do because I don't want it to be like too much of that color at the bottom either. So there's that. <clears throat> Those are all my whips. That's all I worked on. Falling out. 
out. These need to go put away. And then what I decided to do was kit up. This was something I forgot to show you guys before, and I meant to bring the box to show you guys right now, but I didn't show you guys any of my beaded cross stitch stuff. Um, so I'll have to show you in another video because I didn't bring it with me um, in here because I keep all my cross stitch stuff in the living room. But when I started this video, my daughter was doing um, her Zoom class. So I, for the most part, have kitted up the. Um, Chatelaine Medieval Town Mandala and I'm missing a, so I'm going to use the DMC instead of the NPI because I can't afford to buy the NPI <laughs> and um, I've had this kit sitting around for well so I, ha I ordered from European Cross Stitch all of the fancy flosses minus the NPI and the bead pack and I was looking through um, the other day to see how much I, I paid for it. And I paid with shipping. It was $178. So, and I didn't want to order the NPI because it was going to be quite a bit. So I, I've been watching, no, I've been watching a lot of other floss tubers who have been working on um, Chatelaine's. And I've noticed a good chunk of the ones that I watched also substituted all the MPIs for DMC. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Um, I saw somebody who did it in their White Nights at St. Petersburg, which I like because it still came out absolutely fantastic. Fantastic, and that's actually one that I want. Um, White Nights at St. Petersburg is probably the only one that I will maybe get, I think. Um, in addition to this one because I have one more Ugh. I have um, Egypt garden as well and I wanted to kit it up Ugh. the other day I was like sitting I had all the stuff in my car and it was gonna be like $600 to kit up to buy everything for Egypt garden minus the NPI or no no minus the Gloriana because um, apparently there's like a six month wait for Gloriana's right now and yeah I don't want to do that and then um, I was gonna get the MPIs for this and it was gonna be like $600 so I was like you know what I'm not gonna do that um, I'm already about $250 deep in this kit alone because the cost of the chart which I think is like $35 the 178 for the bead pack with the fancy flosses then the cost of the dmc because i think i counted almost 30 colors of dm well 30 skeins because a couple of them you need several and then the fabric i bought purchased a yard of silver moon i think 32 count lugana so mine is going to be about 17 and a half by 17 and a half and i'm so excited to so excited to start it. Um, I'll post a picture here of the pages. I went and had them blown up at da, 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 Office Max because I couldn't see. And I can zoom in on my phone, which I might do for the back stitching part. Um, but I couldn't figure out like how to make it bigger. It doesn't go that big on my tablet. It does on my phone, but my phone's is small. It's only like a five inch screen. And I don't want to stitch off of a five inch screen. What's it cost me $14 and like 40 cents to blow up the six pages that the chart was broken into. And they're not the biggest thing. I would have wanted them bigger, but um, I guess they can't enlarge it. They can print it bigger on a bigger page but they can't like fully cover the whole page or maybe they can, I don't know. But when I called, oh my God, what? It's floss, that's what's on me. Um, she said that it was gonna be, if they did that, it was gonna be like $14 per page. So that would have put like almost another $100 on the kit, so I decided not to do that. So there's that. I, I don't know if I'm gonna have time today. I wanna make time to run to Joanne's real quick and get the, rest of the skeins of floss for that and then I did place an order on one two three stitch for a bunch of floss that I needed to finish kitting up 
I need a couple of skeins for the um, David Tennant pattern from, I'll put a picture here, I can't remember her name, Marjam Raff. And then I needed to finish uh, kitting up the giraffe pattern because I really want to work on that. Um, I'll put a picture of that here. That's a heaven and earth. It's not, there's no background on it. It's just the giraffes. So I got all the floss for that. And then I needed a couple of colors for the stormtrooper. I'll put that one here. And I think that's it. Oh no, psychedelic studio. Because if I start anything, it's probably going to be that one. I was going to do a center start yesterday and then I decided not to. Which is why I pulled my sewing machine out because I need to sew some fabric onto the edges of that. Oh, give me that. I'm gonna leave this out so I can sew some fabric onto this so that maybe it won't um, turn me off of stitching on this one right now. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys was I forgot to show you guys these in my whipped parade um, and in my stash and in my kitted up videos. So I'm just gonna show them to you really quickly right now. Um, these are the Nitka Moscow Barbara Anna kits. I'm thinking of taking these out of the tubes and putting them in project bags because they're so damn big and I have a hard time like figuring out where the hell I'm going to put these. They've been under my desk for such a long time and they're a pain in the butt kind of to kind of deal with and um, yeah that way they're actually in there and I actually see them. I want to work on them because they're just they're not being worked on because they're not in my like whip situations so I have three and I think there's only one more out right now that I haven't purchased yet um I want to I just I haven't because I'm trying really hard not to build my I've had haul the past two costumes I think so trying not to build my stash as I'm still buying shit so this is Miss Teapot that's what she looks like and these kits come with everything another problem that I have with these is that they come with linen and I think it's 32 count, which isn't terrible, but still, like, I don't like linen. This one, this one's not started. The other two are. It comes with this, I think it's Belfast linen, but it's 32 count, so it's a fairly tight weave. And it feels a lot nicer than um, this one that I did, but I don't know what count this one was. I just, I did not enjoy that stitching that one at all, at all. And I did center starts. On both of them if I'm not mistaken. A big old crash. I have Miss Coffee. This one I did her dress. I don't know how big these are gonna be but I feel like look at how big the fabric is. Oh, I have a tiny little start on that. That's it. Center start. So I just have her rolled up like this. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to stitch that purple background though. I kind of don't want to. Ow. See how much stitching that is? I think I'm going to leave that off actually because that's a lot of stitching. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to stitch that purple color. I'm going to do the vines on the outside and the donuts and leave the purple off. And see, because I just, yeah, I think that's going to be the best thing, actually. Does the other one have that? Oh, I put the card on the inside. I'm not sure. How many? Yeah, it's quite a bit of that color, too. That's probably going to be the best thing. Oh, and another thing is the charts are huge on this one. So I think I'm just going to make some small project bags for these ones. And the last one, I believe I started this one too, Miss, oh, Scissors. She's so cute. I think I'm more progress on this one than the other one. I'll show you guys the chart from the back so you can see how big it is. Oh yeah, she has quite a bit of progress actually. And I've stitched, been stitching all of hers in hand, which I'm, I no longer stitch in hand. I'm going to have to put her in a cute snap, but isn't she cute? She's coming along nicely. And I love the uh, spool behind her. So cute. Anyway, that's what that looks like. Let me show you how big the chart is. It's crazy. 
if I can get it out. It's, this is a normal size of paper. That's not big. The Jarvis. Why? I don't know, but I think. Yeah, I can't even. Um, I can't put this on my printer to make a copy. So I've been stitching, like just looking at the pattern, which is kind of hard because I like to cross stuff out. You know what? Uh, I don't want to fold it though, either. Because if I fold it in half, I can make a copy of it. Maybe I'll do that because I'm afraid I'm going to miscount because it's quite big. But anyway, that's how that comes. I kind of like how big it is though because um, you don't have to blow it up. Um, if you can't see very well. And I like that. I can see pretty good, but still. And they're just freaking adorable. I love the little cards that they come with. I just, I really hate linen. Um, she has some other kits, like the trees. Um, I don't know. But I'm really contemplating, like, ordering again. Because I, I don't think, I, I don't like working on the linen. And for me, it's like... I'm trying to only buy things that I absolutely love, love, love. But I still love, love, love these. And I also, if I hadn't started these two already, I would probably um, mix the linen and start it on something else. But, um, yeah, I think I'm just, I'm gonna tuck it out. I'm gonna show you guys a sneak peek of this. This is, I'm not gonna tell you the color name, but this is one of the new Mystical Diamond Art um, hand dyed flosses that are coming out. This is March's. Um, so those are working their way. Um, I had an issue with this. The tags, I had custom ordered them and they didn't arrive on time. And I didn't realize that they actually hadn't even sent them and they didn't send me the proof. I thought they were already done. Um, and they, they worked and so I'm still waiting on so I'm whoa did you hear that it's so windy so I'm still waiting to see if I'm even gonna get these in time for April's floss of the month which I don't think and so I had to hand make all of these and hand punch all of the holes and that was not fun so anyway that's it. That's all I have to share with this floss tube. Um, I'm pretty impressed that there is no haul except for the DMC skeins, and I've been so careful to only get colors that I need and trying really hard to look through my stash, um, which is how I know that I still need um, several of the ones for this. And then I'm going to do a video. I'm going to record me starting this um, so I can start it with you guys. That's it. I'll see you guys next time.